guys, it's Kayla here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a book I recently finished called Gray by E.L. James. This is the first ver- it's so hard to explain this book. This is Fifty Shades of Grey, the very first book as told by Christian Grey. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I thought this book was okay. I think I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. Eh, it was all right. I, I was excited about reading it in the beginning. Um, I thought it was a fascinating idea and it was fascinating in the beginning just to kind of relive the Fifty Shades of Grey story through him and to kind of get in his head. Even though we know a lot about him from like the book and the movies and stuff, it's still different being in someone else's head and seeing the exact same events in a different way. So that was super, super fascinating. However, that fascination did not last very long. This got so repetitive, so... I felt like I was dragging my feet to finish it. it and there was so much sex. <laughs> like, of course, this is a... I think that you would call this erotica. I would call it erotica. Uh, but it's... It, it just had a lot of sex. And it got... It got boring. And that's sad. It's like once, like... Once steamy sex scenes get boring you probably should you know cut back a little Ugh, it was getting it was getting boring and repetitive but it, it also could be because I know the story I know what happened so there's no excitement really it just as a book itself like a standalone it probably sucks really bad <laughs> but eh. so basically the big the big moments in the story is when this was interesting like in the very beginning like how they meet and like you know just big important parts in the book that's when it gets interesting or I don't know like and I also like at the end of the at the end of Fifty Shades of Grey the first book that part where she tells him oh spoilers by the way <laughs> Um, that part where she tells him she wants to know how bad it can get, his pain, like, it likes he, the fact that he likes inflicting pain in a sexual way, she finally says, like, she wants to know how bad it gets. And then he spanks her with a belt. It's more like a whipping, I would call he spanks her with a belt or whips her with a belt for six times and it's in it in the original story she she endures it but right afterwards she just loses it and she like tells him like she's crying and she's like don't touch me and you know she leaves and it's a big reason why they kind of break up in the end of that book so when that happened I was interested like what exactly was he thinking because in the first book we know what she's thinking and what she's feeling but I wanted to know like what is he feeling and I, I will say that there are times in this book where it can be disturbing <sighs> in a large part I don't agree with people who say that the Fifty Shades of Grey story glorifies abuse and physical abuse and unhealthy relationships and stuff like that I don't I personally don't think it glorifies it when I was reading this story and when I first read Fifty Shades of Grey I didn't think of it as glorifying at all I, it wasn't like a relationship I wanted or anything and I don't think the book was really presenting it that way I, I the entire time Anna is completely resisting his way of life the whole BDSM SNM lifestyle she doesn't want it and she does try parts of it other parts she will not try and she never she never really gives into him a hundred percent so I don't I don't know I just don't see how people think that's glorifying it or that 
she's a weak character all I, what I see is like this is a real thing like but I can see how this could happen I could see how his and I don't and his thing isn't even so much sexual abuse I don't even think he was sexually abused but he was physically abused as a young child and that kind of fused pain and pleasure and it kind of got his wires crossed or something like that and you see him struggle through this and because it's unhealthy in my opinion the way he's doing it is healthy he's everything is consensual everything is laid out on the table he doesn't make anyone do what they don't want to do so it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like he's pushing anybody to do anything but he does encourage and he does say like I like this I want this you will like it I think you will like it you know so I don't know I just feel like that's a very realistic thing I can see how a person who is really interested in this lifestyle meets somebody who is not familiar with this lifestyle and they want them to be a part of it and they try and convince them so I mean it's not that unusual to me I do think but but the interesting thing that I found that I didn't really expect to find was being in his mind was disturbing sometimes not all the time but especially at the end when he's whipping her with a belt the before during and after that it's disturbing because he's enjoying it like really enjoying it and he describes it being like a release and it really like physically turns him on and it's it's when it kind of hit home for me that like I don't want to like I don't want to knock on people's preferences you know sexually but for me personally it felt very wrong it felt like this shouldn't be this way <laughs> you shouldn't get excited from causing another person pain that's real messed up so that was really kind of hard it was it was interesting though because it's real there are people out there who really do like this who really do enjoy causing other people pain and whether it's done in a consensual okay way the way he kind of does in his lifestyle because there are real people out there who enjoy this lifestyle they, there are and as long as it's consensual and legal and stuff then it's fine like whatever you're a grown adults do what you want to do but personally it's really it's 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 messed up be and it and it's also messed up because it makes me think I'm such a true crime person it also makes me think of like serial killers and sadomasochistic killers who they prey on people they kill them very slowly it's all about causing them pain and I'm thinking it's a very fine line that he's walking and so that was disturbing I will say that was disturbing but also very interesting I felt like I learned a lot about that I learned it, it was weird seeing it from his point of view and it really did hit home how his brain is just twisted it just didn't seem right and I was so glad that she was like you know F this like I'm leaving I'm not doing this like you will never do that to me again blah 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 so I was like yes girl you know and then I could also relate to her because I can I can see how I would really consider something different like if somebody was really trying to get me to try something different anything it could be anything and they were really you know hitting it home I can see myself trying things slowly tiptoeing you know so I don't think that's weird either I think people do that I think people try things sometimes so her actions and stuff aren't weird to me at all so I, I get it but I am very glad her reaction you know she's very She's very wary of the whole thing the entire time. So I think that's good. But I mean, that was that's the ending. That's the very ending. So I mean, <laughs> everything up until this point is just a retelling of the first story. And it's just repetitive and it's boring. And it's just, uh, it just gets to be repetitive. So there are, I'm, there is another book 
called Darker, which I have, and it's basically 50 shades darker, as told by Christian. I'm assuming they're also going to do Freed, which would be 50 shades freed from Christian Grey's point of view. More than likely, I'm not going to read those two books. I'm done. My curiosity is sated. <laughs> Um, it wasn't as good as I was hoping it was going to be. It was all right. It was just, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it was okay. I, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it to anybody because even if you liked the first story, which I did, I liked the first story. This, it still was just not that interesting. And maybe it's because I know the story already. I can't tell. I don't know. So, so yeah, that's my little review on Grey by E.L. James. Uh, let me know if you've read this, what you think about it, uh, any thoughts or opinions you have about the whole Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy and stuff. I, uh, you know, I have my own opinions and, and stuff, and I'm not saying that I'm right and other people are wrong. It's just how I see it, you know? And so I'm really interested in how other people see this or think about these books or, or maybe their arguments, you know, maybe you'll... Your argument will make me see something in a different way you know so i'm always open to discussion about stuff like this um so yeah so uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video